Hello guys, I am Flash Isaac and today I will be teaching you how to derive quadratic equations from given roots. Normally, when you are given a quadratic equation, you solve the equation and you arrive at two answers. These two answers are the roots of the equation. But in some cases, and very popular nowadays, you'll be given the roots of the quadratic equation and asked to derive the equation. The good news is that it is even easier to derive quadratic equation from roots than looking for roots from a quadratic equation. Do you know why? All you need to do in this case when giving roots is to simply substitute into this equation. Quadratic equation is simply s squared minus sum of roots or sum of roots times s plus product of roots is equals zero. That is the formula. This is the sum of roots. We add the roots. This is the product of roots. We multiply the roots. Now, let's use this concept to answer question A to D. Question A is simply asking us to look for the quadratic equation whose roots are 1 over 2 and minus 7. So, these are the roots we are dealing with. The first thing you look for is sum of roots. The sum of roots here is simply 1 over 2 plus minus 7. Don't forget this. We are adding the roots, but this root is negative, so we give it its own respect. And product of roots is simply 1 over 2 times minus 7. So substituting into this quadratic equation question, we have this sum of roots 1 over 2 plus minus 7 s plus product of roots 1 over 2 times minus 7 you can choose to put this in bracket equals 0 this will give you s square minus 1 over 2 minus times plus here will become minus minus 7 s plus 1 over 2 times minus 7 will simply give you minus 7 over 2. So this is equals 0. S square minus 1 over 2 minus 7. Looking for this LCM, we we'll have the LCM is 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 1 times 1 is 1. Minus, this is something else over 1. So 2 divided by 1 is 2. 2 times 7 is 14. So this becomes minus 14. 1 minus uh, 14 is minus 13. So we have minus 13 over 2. So that is here. Minus 13 over 2. Yes. In this side, plus times minus is minus. So here becomes minus 7 over 2 is equals 0. So we come back and say s squared minus times minus is plus so this becomes plus 13 over 2 times s s minus 7 over 2 is equals 0. this is the quadratic equation to eliminate the fractions we can multiply everything by 2 multiplying s square by 2 we have 2 s square plus if you multiply this by 2 2 already cancel 2 we'll be left with 13 s minus 2 times 7 over 2 the same thing as 14 divided by 2 which is 7 equals 0 so that is the quadratic equation whose roots are 1 over 2 and minus 7 so let's look at the next uh, question so for the next question we are looking or we are solving the quadratic equation whose roots are minus 8 and 5 so in that case the sum of roots are 
minus 8 plus 5 and the product of roots is simply minus 8 times 5. Substituting into this equation, we have s square minus sum of roots minus 8 plus 5 times s plus product of roots minus 8 times 5 equals 0. So this becomes s square minus minus 8 plus 5 is minus 3. So minus 3s plus minus uh, 8 times 5 is minus 40. So minus 40 is equals 0. This becomes s square minus minus 3 times s is minus 3s plus plus times minus is minus. So this is minus 40 is equals 0. So this becomes s square minus times minus is plus. So we have plus 3s minus 40 is equals 0. So the roots of the equation is minus 8 and 5. And the equation is s square plus 3s minus 40 equals 0. If you solve this equation, you will see you will get these roots minus 8 and 5. Question C says we should look for the quadratic equation whose roots are minus 3 and minus 2. Quadratic equation is simply s square minus sum of roots s plus product of roots is equals 0. This gives us s square minus sum of roots minus 3 plus minus 2 s plus product of roots minus 3 times minus 2 is equals 0. So we now have s square minus minus 3 plus minus 2 is simply minus 6 plus minus 3 times minus 2 will simply be plus 6 is equals 0. And this becomes s square plus 6s plus 6 is equals 0. So that is the roots of the equation. So uh, the last question, we are looking for the equation, this uh, quadratic equation whose roots are 3 and 2. The equation will simply be s square minus sum of roots 3 plus 2 s plus product of roots 3 times 2 is equals 0. This becomes s square minus 3 plus 2 is 5. So we have 5 times s, 5 s plus 3 times 2 is 6 is equals 0. So the quadratic equation whose roots are 3 and 2 is simply s square minus 5s plus 6 is equals 0. So I hope you enjoyed this topic. How to look for quadratic equation when the roots are given. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more amazing videos.